hey guys so today in this video i will share with you the amazing concept of what throttling process okay so first start with the name so throttling process is known as also known as or can be also termed as joule thomson process all right joule thomson process so first let's understand with the definition what is the definition of throttling process all right so let's understand this with, with our diagram right suppose that fluid is flowing right fluid is flowing all right and we are just decreasing the diameter so let's say diameter here is capital d and here diameter is small d now what will happen if we'll do so if pressure p is here p1 is here if pressure p2 is here pressure p1 is greater than p2 that means because we have decreases the diameter that is why flow of fluid right pressure will decrease and this process is known as what throttling process right that means if we are putting any kind of restriction in the flow of fluid then pressure will drop that is known as what throttling process so in throttling process you can say like you can write like this in this process in this process we put any restriction any restriction in the flow of fluid flow of fluid then pressure of fluid will decrease pressure of fluid will decrease but enthalpy will be constant enthalpy will be constant if enthalpy will be constant but here is the catch important point let's say input enthalpy and output enthalpy that means hi and he both that means hi is equal to he it will not be constant throughout the process its input enthalpy and exit enthalpy will be constant remember this here we make mistake right and this process constant means input and exit enthalpy will be constant in this process so that means same enthalpy will be same same means what iso so we can say this process as isenthalpic process isenthalpic process well let's understand this with another uh, another equation steady flow energy equation right here i will share two concept with you but first of all let me share with you a few applications when flow of fluid is going through porous plug p o r o u s porous plug that is an example of what throttling process or joule thomson process second in case of throttle valve throttle valve where we use throttle valve that is bc rs after condenser we used throttle valve to decrease pressure and maintain enthalpy as constant maintain enthalpy as constant so next very important point let me share with you just remember this it is very, very important throttling process throttling process similar like free expansion that means it can be like free expansion process but but when there are two conditions if these two condition 
is applicable then we can say that throttling process is similar to free expansion process what are those consider uh, those uh, those restriction or those consideration we have to consider first is system should be closed we have to consider closed system and the process should be what steady flow what is the steady uh, what is the meaning of steady flow with time things will not change and here we are we have to use steady flow energy equation in order to prove that enthalpy in uh, input or inlet enthalpy is equal to exit enthalpy so what is the equation uh, basically h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus gz1 plus q is equal to h2 c2 square by 2 plus gz2 plus w now let's understand few important concept this process takes place in uh, we have to consider it in reality it is not it is not possible this is what adiabatic process man means this whole system is well insulated then only it will be adiabatic so if it is adiabatic there will be no heat transfer zero if there is no heat transfer definitely there is no work done zero now in this process if we refer many books they are saying kinetic energy and potential energy is same no it is not the case kinetic energy and potential energy is not same but there is very negligible change little bit change that is why we consider kinetic energy and potential energy they will cancel each other because there is very tiny change so from here we can say what enthalpy one is equal to enthalpy two i hope you can see this a one means inlet and two means one is inlet and two means exit this is how we can also get its mathematical relation by using steady flow energy equation so i hope you understand the all concept regarding this and one most important thing i i want to share with you what type of process is this it is an it is an irreversible process irreversible process right it is an irreversible process because if once flu fluidal flow through this it cannot get back automatically for this we have to put any kind of uh, force external force we have to put that in that means it the process itself will become irreversible all the processes going on in the world even as i am talking with you this is an irreversible process i am writing this is an irreversible process there is a vehicle right we can hear the horn this is an irreversible process well thank you very much see you soon in my next video bye bye